Hello everyone and welcome back to Sekiro. This is episode 20. I've hit the big 2-0 in this playthrough and it's just been an absolute crazy ride with the past few episodes just escalating constantly, just hitting like new highs that I never thought was was possible to reach and it's just been just been such a such a journey. We last time we defeated our father, the owl, uh, for a second time, uh, one fight being on here and the other being in the memory of the Harata estate and like reflecting uh, at this point at the top of Ashina Castle on both of those, on both of those fights, I feel like uh, it's, it's really hard to choose because they, they are quite similar, but I feel like this fight at the top of Ashina Castle is definitely my favorite of the two. I think it's just coupled with the emotions leading up to it and just how much of a surprise it is to learn that he survived, to learn that the owl survived and he is also consumed by his like want to have the power of uh, the dragon's blood as well. And it's just really, it was just a really special thing to have that moment between father and son clash swords and you know for us to defeat him and for us to be proud uh for him to be proud you know and i just think that that's like oh man it's just it's just so cool it, it's so cool um i find it interesting that in when you deliver the killing blow to him uh one of the things we say to him is death of a shadow death of a shadow and in this game you kill him twice shadows die twice so is the owl like the main villain of Sekiro you think because he isn't he in a way like responsible for how this all like happens like he's the one who tipped off uh, the best time to come to the Harata estate to kidnap Kuro, take him away, set all of the things in motion, you know, leading to, you know, the wolf being in this position as well. And then at the end of it, we have to confront him and, like, beat him down twice. Like, but the game's not over. But it feels like that was, like, such a final boss conclusion, like, having to defeat your own father, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. It, so wh whether or not he's actually, like, he's not the final boss, obviously, because the credits haven't rolled, but uh, it has that weight and that emotional impact to it, and I just think because of that, uh, everything that's at stake, this first fight up here was just absolutely exhilarating to me, but I really did love the fight in the Harata estate as well. Just like both fights, incredible to reflect upon, I think. And I, I can't wait to replay those fights in the like reflection of strength. It's just like, it, it's so cool. So we, uh, one thing that I want to do when we get into this one is I, we're at three out of four prayer beads. So I want to, we, there's got to be, there has to be at least one boss somewhere that'll give us one. It's a shame that unfortunately the headless that we have killed do not give them. Uh, we do have the ones that, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Um, the one in the Guardian Apes Burrow, for example, I think it was Warrior something. <laughs> Very helpful. Um, I almost wanted to say Shamisen, but I believe that's the name of the instrument that Jinzaimon was looking for. But I don't know. But I don't know if they'll give a prayer bead either. I think maybe if we just maybe if we just start from the bottom and climb our way up through, I might go on a bit of a journey to see if we can just find like a boss. Like I don't know if um, I think the enemy placements have forever changed now. Now that Ashina Castle has been invaded, so there might be more to find uh, around potentially the reservoir even or even. The entrance to the castle because uh, obviously we found our own way into the castle again from the abandoned dungeon um, but there might be um, there might be other people hanging around for us to to fight in way places that we didn't go so we'll have I'll have a run 
and I'll see if I can find anyone, uh, see if anything's updated around this area before we push through, just because leaving it at three out of four, oh, that's the, the true mini boss of Sekiro, the bird, um, because yeah, uh, leaving it at three out of four before proceeding to what feels like could be like the ending, because it feels like, like we have everything. And I'm just going off Soul's logic that uh, you get your, your your big items for the end of the game, you put them in the thing, and then you fight the final boss. So it seems very much like we are at that point. This could be it. Uh, so I want to make sure that we don't waste three out of four prayer beads uh, before we potentially go up against what I assume to be Genichiro, right? Because he's still out there. He's sort of the main antagonist, I guess, because he wants to replace us, or he wants uh, the immortality um, that Kuro can give, and we wish to sever that by uh, multiple means, whichever whichever one will work out, where we can all walk off into the sunset together and be happy. <laughs> um, but it, it feels like there is a... Oof, feels like there is a Genichiro rematch somewhere um, and it's final boss worthy, I would say, considering how he's like the first boss that we face. Um, then he's like the, like another point where I, I made this observation when we first beat him, where it was like, it felt like, um, it felt like after we beat him, the whole game changed, you know, that like it entered like a different chapter. You know, uh, so it feels like that was almost like a halfway kind of turning point to fight him again, and then he stripped away all his armor. Oh God! Stripped away all of his armor, um, and then said that he will attain power by any like heretical means necessary, and then said, "See you, chump," and jumped off the jumped off the top of the castle. So I fully expect that he will return once again uh, so that's kind of what I'm that's kind of where I'm at I think with this with this game is it definitely feels like we're pretty much at the end it kind of just has that weight about it and I feel like it's we're probably gonna light up the incense do the thing and Genichiro is gonna pop up and try and fuck everything up um because I, I can't see how else it would go at this point with like with what we've encountered. We're not going to have Owl show up <laughs> for a third time. <laughs> so I don't think... I think that's probably, you know, I think that's probably it. Um, but for the for the sake of time, and so you guys don't get bored, uh, I... And sorry if you're bored already. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to have a have a chat and give you my thoughts about where we're up to and how I'm viewing the story so far because it feels like it's pretty heavy, dude. It's pretty heavy. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run around. I'll take a look, see who I can find to hopefully get a um, to get a prayer bead, uh, and then I'm gonna talk to Kuro. We're finally gonna do the damn thing and see how we go. <laughs>
Won't even let me get a. Won't even let me get a mid air like a death blow when I'm like dropping down from him. I thought I'd be able to at least get one. You can do posture damage to him pretty well, and you can deflect those terror things, but they do cause terror. So that's not. That's not very good. Um, I'm not finding much around the castle. <laughs> I'm not finding much around the castle. But, uh, we'll see what we get. This is, this is what the backtracking exploration off screen looks like. It's a lot of nothing. That's why I show you only the good stuff. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh god, that's new. I can't fight you when you're in here. What the fuck? Oh, they're fighting each other? Oh, they're fighting each other, nice. I'll go for you. <laughs> gotcha. Nice. Is this guy gonna fight me? Yeah, you're 100% gonna fight me. <laughs> it was just my enemy of my enemy is your friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. There you go. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a purple ninja down here as well. So these placements have changed. part of the plan. I unfortunately tried and failed to find another mini boss. Uh, I ran all the way around Ashina Castle area and the outskirts and it's just like it was just quiet you know it was just quiet. Killed some cool enemies you know ran around for a while but no mini bosses so it looks like we are it is time. It is time. <laughs> みんなもとの好奇を抱きしめることができるだろう。さあ、コロに集めたものを食べてくれ。ジョイ。My clothes have the will have the aroma. オオカミ、これでキッサ。ジョイ。不思議るよ。うん。アンズルナ、深くは切らぬ。不思議るよ。抜いてくれぬか。はい。すまぬが、目を閉じてくれ。Alright. Oh. Yeah, cuz he can't he can't glance upon it. もう良いぞ、狼。大事。ありませぬか大丈夫胸のあたりを少し切っただけだこれが源の好奇か何やら無性に懐かしいはいどうじゃ何か変わったことはあるか匂いとそれから源の宮その言葉が頭から離れませぬ
源の宮、タケル様が書き残されていた通り、そこから宣教に通じているのだろうな。その源の宮への生き方だが。かぐわしく、腰入れ、盾祭る。香りの石が置かれた祭壇に、そう書かれていました。うん。そなたは、源の後期をまとっている。岩戸の奥の腰に入れば源の宮への道が開けるだろう不死立ちはマジか頼むぞ狼よ行為 Are you not coming with us? 狼よ戦況に向かい竜の涙を取ってきてくれはいまずはそなたが香りの石を手にしたという岩戸の奥に行くのだそなたは源の好機をまとっている岩戸の奥の腰に入れば源の宮への道が開けるだろう。ギョイ。Cool. I'm so glad that this game just tells you like things instead of being like super cryptic and obscure. Like, I'm glad that there's just like you, when you talk to everyone in the game, there's a lot of people that just go, right, I need you to go here and do this. And, and you, you'll be able to do this. And then there's items that are like, With this, you can do this, and I think that's really good because <laughs> it's, it's helped a lot. So, I was expecting this moment to be like we're going to do the incense, and then something will happen, and poof, we're in like the divine realm or something. So, it looks like we actually have to go on that journey to that,、uh, you know, do the bridal offering, I guess, to, to go off there. So, maybe it's well, now I'm just so we're going to go to the Fountainhead Palace. To then go get dragon tears from the divine realm, go make a dragon cry, we'll, we'll insult him. And then we'll get dragon tears, we'll come back and go, We got him, except I'm not gonna do what you want, because that results in your death. Instead, we're gonna end up probably doing a thing that means I die. <laughs> and then I'll go, join, I'll go join my father in another plane of existence. Alright, so. We're not taking him with us, which is really surprising. I was expecting like, to, for it to just like, move into like, a point of no return, but we still have that freedom.、Uh, so we're going to、um, the wedding cave door, is where we are going. So the corrupted monk was guarding this door, and now we're in, and now we're going to go get married. Actually, before we do this, before we do this, Because we've progressed further with Kuro with this, with this stuff, I want to make sure I have, like, if this is point in a return, I want to make sure that we have our final words spoken and make sure that we don't have dialogue from our lovely crew. Ah, Okami. Okami dono. Nondo. Doka. Oh. Nope. Okay, that's the same. We don't have a gourd seed, do we? We're not sitting on a gourd seed and I've just forgot about it. I'm just paranoid now. No, we don't have any. No seed to give you, Emma, I'm sorry. Okay,、uh, everyone's dialogue is the same. I'm going to try and upgrade my prosthetic, actually, because I keep forgetting to do it. And we've got some money. I want to upgrade the firecracker version.、Oh, but we have to upgrade. Yeah, spring load firecracker. Cool. Which hold right trigger, charge it up to scatter in all directions while spinning. Alright, we're gonna do some stuff.、Um, I need to do that to get to Long Spark. A Long Spark, and by increasing the proportion of black gunpowder, the effect can be prolonged for longer than the average firecracker. Ooh, I like that. I wanna just upgrade my firecracker a bit, because we've been. We're rocking the basic one. <laughs> we're rocking the most basic one. There you go. Sparking axe. Bathed in flame from the axe's blade. Hitting the sparking percussion hammer causes a violent eruption of flames and increases the effective area of the attack. This is both firearm and heavy axe. That's just crazy. <laughs> I should probably try and.、Oh, you know what? I really should upgrade to Phoenix's lilac umbrella as well, because then I'll probably have a much better chance against those enemies, those terror ones. Great feather, Miss Raven. 
look, as long as we're not using just the literal basic form of the firecracker, we've done something right. <laughs> um, we've got money, so if this is going to be like the final thing, uh, then I'm gonna, I want to I want to spend I want to spend things. So we've got coin purses, so that'll give us fourteen hundred. This will give us 2,500. Ooh, I don't even know how much I want to spend, but let's, uh... Listen, give me that. Give me that. Janet. And we'll cash in on these upgrades, because, to be honest, it is about time. He says, Sorry. towards the end of the game. <laughs> I forget that I have this a lot of the time, to, like, doing the upgrades and go, Oh, I should upgrade that, and then I just don't pursue it. Um, a delayed whistle. I don't really want the delayed whistle, but then I have to to get to that, uh, the umbrella. God damn it. Alright. Ah, uh, what? Oh, hang on. I need to upgrade from here. Then I can upgrade looted umbrella magnet. Now I can do it. And now I'm just shy. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'll be right back, sculptor. I need 50 sen. <laughs> Now I'll sell my light thing. Yo, don't matter. Just one of those, please. Yeah, no, don't Thank you. Thanks for keeping my money safe in the bank for me. We've got four skill points as well, um, so we can look at spending. <clears throat> but I might try and save up more. We'll see. Depends what we have available. I think there's one with five that I wanted. But all right, I'm gonna get that lilac umbrella. Final tier information now unlocked. Look at this shit. Lazulite Shuriken. Oh, we don't even have those upgrade materials. Holy crap. Lazulite Sacred Flame. A flame barrel blessed with the favor of the Fountainhead Lapis Lazuli. Wow. So there's upgrade materials to get. I guess this is Divine Realm materials. This flame does not, however, inflict burn status abnormality. The sacred lapis lazuli fires are divine. Cleanse the deep-seated hatred with flame. Holy crap. Wow. Poisonous mist with every swing. And heavily damaging vitality. And damages vitality and posture even if guarded. The blades do not slow down even after striking an enemy. That's so cool, and so expensive. <laughs> that final tier is sweet. Um, and I guess there's only one upgrade for the Phantom Kunai. Lady Butterfly's one, which we can also buy from um, Anayama, but we haven't bought that yet. So that's that must be... That's the final... Oh that's the final Shinobi prosthetic. I think it costs 3,000, so we now can't afford that, because I was upgrading to cool stuff. So this Lilac Umbrella... I need long spark because they cost more now, don't they? Ooh, the umbrella doesn't change its cost. No, they don't cost more. They stay the same. I love that. Um, I think with these upgrades of the Shinobi tools that my upgrade, my skills should go to increasing the amount of spirit emblems that can be held because we can do that a couple of times and we've only upgraded it once. So I'm going to get that. What's our maximum now? Oh, it only increases by one. Ouch. That stings. It only increases by one. Alright then. Wedding cave door it is. Alright, so we've got we've got long spark now, which is which is awesome. We've got long spark. Lilac umbrella. And we're still still got our beautiful beautiful Mist Raven. We should probably do upgrade the the Mist Raven when we when we can as well. I think that would be nice. So we now need to do the stuff. We're getting married. So we now go in here, right? God, it's so spooky in here. Oh, we pray. Here we go. We lay the mortal blade down. It 
is a giant rope. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Some mechanism. What the fuck? Um, that is like the silliest thing I've ever seen. This is for sure very symbolic in Japanese mythology. Rope man. Oh no. This is the weirdest thing ever. This is so strange. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Like, a couple of episodes ago, I'm like, what is that giant rope looking thing? Oh, that's just Rope Man. Don't worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. Just when you think they can't pull out any more surprises, they whip out Scarecrow. What the hell? Oh wow. It's a bit foggy, can't see all the way in the distance, but I can see some formations and it looks cool. Yeah, can't say I expected Rope Man to to pick me up and uh, and take me <laughs> to the divine realm. <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna have a nap. You're free to hop off here though if you want. I'm asleep. Just here you go." So this is the probably the, the only thing that I've come across where I've gone like, "This is so dumb." <laughs> It's quite, it's cool though, it's absolutely fascinating, but it's just so strange. I'm going to be doing so much research after I finish this playthrough on like what that means, what it represents. Napping Straw Man. The true final boss of Sekiro. Oh wow, this is, this is going to, this is going to be gorgeous. So we're at the Fountainhead Palace now? This is so pretty. Damn, just went, like, when we were lower down before, we were, like, super high up. And now we're just, like, super, super high up. Super high up. Corrupted Monk is back. Oh god. Hi, Corrupted Monk. I've already fought against you. I know what this is. We've fought, we've fought once before. Um, three... Three death blows. Three death blows. Except you're not like a spirit this time. You're the real deal. You're the real deal. God damn it. Alright, hold on. Does that mean I can... Ooh! Oh, God. Hang on a minute. Does that mean I can... Do this? Yes! You can be blinded because you are no longer a cool spirit thing. I think I... Yes! instead of uh, deflecting and I regret my decision. Thank you. Yeah, that's one. Fucking three death blows though? Alright, that's in the head. Let's go. What is that? Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Okay. 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 
Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, that's what that does. Wow. Corrupted Monk's design is so cool. So it's still... You still classify yourself as a Corrupted Monk even though you're no longer like a spirit? You've ascended to the Divine Realm, I guess. Me trying to figure out how you can be here. Oh god. Oh god. That was not smart. No! I knew that what that was, and I didn't... This is just classic me. Classic me. Come on, mate. Ah, uh, I don't like this one. I'm just gonna run around. Oh no, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> That's probably the stupidest thing I could have done. Wait, there's a real one! Oh. Okay. There's a real one there, in the distance. Okay, that's not a bad first attempt. That's not a bad first attempt. Alright, let's go again. Where are you? Oh, you just appear. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cool, man. I, like, blocked, but didn't. It made the noise. Ah, uh, okay. We're back to learning Makiri counters. <laughs> oh, shit. That was weird. That was beautiful. That's like a perfect thing for like a sneak attack in there because I almost didn't, couldn't even see. Nice. Alright, there's there's definitely number one. That was much smoother. Let's keep fighting. Oh, okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna play anymore. I'm just doing I'm just gonna do this. This is what these are for, right? It's avoiding this attack. We spinning around. Where are you? Oh god, you're still gone. When, when will it stop? When will it stop? Oh, you're still going. Oh! Bro. Surely. Surely eventually this will be over. Yes! Alright, it does eventually stop. <laughs> it does eventually stop. Confirmed. Oh. Fucked up all those blocks. There we go. That's better! Mm, that's not good. Dude, spinning it around in a circle is so cool! Ah, uh, I shouldn't have... I was... It's alright, it's alright. I've learned. I've already faced against you before. I know how to do this. We could... I've done this before, okay? I know how you work. I know how you operate. Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> can, you, can you get me when I'm up here? No fucking way! Oh, you can death blow that move! <gasps> oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, shit. That's why. You're a fucking... Oh. You're a fucking bug with terror! Oh, no. Alright, hold on. I still have this equipped from when I was going up against a fucking... Dude. What the fuck? Oh, how am I even do- Oh, this is so cool, but what the fuck? Ah, uh, I don't think- You don't have eyes anymore. So I don't think I can do my firecracker. Oh shit, this actually worked out. Okay, what? I, okay. We're just gonna ignore that. Oh. oh 
my god. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Oh, no! Oh, that combination attack, dude. The terror from the bug's vomit. Oh, if only we didn't jump. Damn it. Okay, you can get a death blow during that attack in second phase, so you can essentially wipe out that second death blow with no problem. So now there'll be a second phase. You're just chilling in the middle. Oh my god. <laughs> Trivialize that second death blow. Okay. And now it's undying time. Okay. Uh, because oh, because the vomiting is an apparition type attack. Because the vomiting is an apparition type attack, this umbrella. Oh, I just missed it anyway. No! <laughs> that was the ugliest no I've ever screamed. You can still fall off a cliff. Okay, you can fall off a cliff in the middle of a boss fight. It's okay. You just lose health. Holy fuck. That's so funny. Oh my god, I'm just trying to heal, please. Wow. Okay, I'm not getting much of a break here, am I? You can't... Okay. Interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to really heal there. So... That sweep, even if you do the jump counter, uh, it will still do the vomiting attack. Which is so annoying. Whoa. No! <gasps> Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna be. I need to just be so careful. Like, so deathly careful. Ah! Oh, meanwhile, falls for the spin move. And then you're gonna vomit? No? Now you vomit. Oh, God! Alright, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. It ain't no thing. He says. It's okay, because I can. I still have a resurrection. We got this! Yeah, we got this! Fuck yeah, we got this. Whip out that mortal blade, dude. Let's go. Hell yes. Oh, that was fucking insane. <laughs> Immortality 7, that was fucking insane. Holy shit. The true monk. That's what it should have been called. It was corrupted monk still. Holy crap, the corrupted, blah, blah, blah. the corrupted monk guarded the bridge leading to the Fountainhead Palace. Dragon's tally board. A tally board carved from a large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in merchant shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognized as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Whoa. So it increases the stock so we can buy more shit from people again. It's funny because I am I I didn't know this, but I always assumed that jade was the color green. 
I guess it can, I guess it can not always be green. Um, I love how I'm like, hell yeah, this umbrella is going to be perfect. It worked out so well, and I just never used it. <laughs> Holy crap. We just, like, ascended to the Divine Realm, dude. Oh yes, Enhance Attack Power, because that was a memory. It's the true monk. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for Eternal Watcher of the Palace. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Wow. Okay. What a game. That was awesome. Compare my corrupted monk fight when it was an apparition to now. I was like, I feel stronger. I feel more confident in taking you on. Wow. Look, we can see the stars. Bloodborne. The pretty night sky. Oh, wow. So that's where we're headed, apparently. That's where Sekiro was looking off in the distance. Oh fuck then. Maybe... Maybe there ain't Genichiro after all. We just go here, get some Dragon Tears, come back, sever immortality. Oh, this is gorgeous. <sighs> wow, the music coming in, dude. Ooh, that like tugged at some emotional heartstrings. Ooh, that was that was unexpected. Well, the way that that music just came in when I'm looking at this place, like, wow. Those was like took me aback for a second there. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Miss Noble. It's the one, the only. Look at this. I just feel bad. It's just, it's just a slug alien monster looking thing wanting to play a flute. He's not hurting anyone. Oh, I feel bad now that I killed the other one. What if that was your friend? Now you'll be grieving. Oh no, I have to I have to commit now. Sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. You were just playing beautiful music. There are fucking. Excuse me. Oh wow. Oh, they look so weird. New battle music unlocked? <laughs> Just kept on going. I have a move like that. Whoa! Oh, someone's throwing shit at me. I have a move like that too, you wanna see it? Oh, that's a thrust. Yeah, look. See, I got that. Oh my god, who's throwing shit at me? I, I cannot even... Are they on the roof? There they are. can't even see them. Oh, messed up all the timings ever. So weird. Holy shit, dude. Where are we? 
Well, I mean, you know, not in the literal sense. I know where we are, but like, fucking, holy crap! I haven't got an arrow in my hand. And I keep missing this. <laughs> let me up. I oh, no! <laughs> For fuck's sake, just let me up! <laughs> I'm just trying to get up, please. Oh my god. I'm just like, hello, can, can you please, can you please let me up? I was missing every single opportunity for me to do my, like, mid-air deflection. You got soldiers pr patrolling the Divine Realm, apparently, because you need that. Oh my god. That's interesting. The flute drains my life force and causes terror. It's like taking stuff away from me. It's really interesting to see that attack actually take place. Wow, look at this environment. Look at this place. Alright, like... Oh my god, there's fucking three of them. Oh, let's go deal with archers first. Sorry, what? Sorry, sorry, what? Lightning? Where? Sorry, huh? What the fuck? Where did that just come from? Um, okay, let's, um, let's be wary, shall we? Because that's a thing. Oh my god. Okay, guys, where did that come from? Oh, there? Great, we have our work cut out for us to, to navigate this place. Oh, they sound so strange. Oh no, divine dogs, no. <laughs> why divine, why? You couldn't just leave it? What do, why do they look like that? <gasps> you just had to not only put dogs here, but make them lightning, lightning dogs. All right, we're gonna time, we're gonna, we need to practice our lightning deflects again. Eel livers are coming back into play, dude. All right, we need to practice our lightning deflects. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, I just want one so I can practice. There's so many. Alright, get rid of both of those. Learn our lesson about the, the old shuriken. Switch to shuriken first, maybe. All right, there you go. All right, let's let's try this. Let's do lightning. <laughs> Why are you barking at me like that? I think there's another one. Yeah. Will you do lightning?
Come on, I'm... From a distance, right? Here, I'll put more distance between... Come on, do lightning. Come on, do lightning. Stop it! <laughs> I want... What, what the fuck? What's the... How do you make the lightning happen? Is that just a rare thing? Should I... Was it a secret you should have never given up and I've accidentally learned that you're capable of? What is... What's happening here? I'm... Like, now you know I'm gonna do it, so I can't... I can't do it now. I just wanted to... Practice the whole lightning deflect thing. Come on. Come on! It's not gonna happen, is it? Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, the game doesn't want us to practice. <laughs> the game game says no. No lining re um, reversals allowed. Oh god. Hello. What about you? No? Okay. God damn it. Mana. Maybe mana. Wow. So one of these creatures, the Miss Noble, decided to leave the divine realm and then go to Mibu village oh my god hello uh are you an enemy Moshi no you're not an enemy um miss noble went to Mibu village i guess from the divine realm these like divine creatures or something宮の貴族たちは若い世紀に乾いています。Okay, she's like, there's a Miss Noble hangout. Oh, it's a favor to ask you. Oh wow, we've been feeding a giant carp. We must free him. Did the did the uh, treasure the treasure carp scale guy get his wish of becoming a giant carp? Then is that related, or he just knows about maybe about the legend of a giant carp, and wants to become one as well? Please release him from the carp's bewitching powers. Interestingly, that you don't uh, put your sword away in this little segment. Usually you put your sword away. Oh my god. I was hidden. Oh god, there's so many of them. She did she did say that it's the it's the Miss Noble hangout. 
They will be chilling playing flutes together, the musicians. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! Okay, so if you stand directly in front of it, if you stand directly in front of it, it starts happening. Oh god, is this a big... No. I was like, is this a different enemy? Enfeebled? What the fuck does enfeebled mean? Oh, that's not terror at all. Enfeebled? What the fuck? I just lost my entire health bar. What the hell? Okay, thank god. Imagine if that was Dark Souls 1 curse. Jesus. I just freaked out for a second. I can't block against en enfeeblement. I don't even know what that is. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, she was right to tell us to be careful. Did it block? It blocked my resurrection, didn't, didn't it? Wow, okay. I can see why Miss Noble could have been a threat. Because if you didn't just fucking destroy <laughs> Miss Noble, like, immediately, you'd have your whole life force sucked out. Uh, what is going on over there? What is that? Oh my god, no. That's not the fucking... Is that a blazing ball? That's a blazing ball. Except with divine flame. Dear God, no. <laughs> um, how do I get there? Hold on a minute. Yeah, holy fuck. That is a blazing ball with divine flame. Um, what can I even do in this situation? What the fuck? How do I get through to you? How do I how do I get over there? Hang on. Is there a way up? This place is massive. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Look at them, look at the whole squad. The whole squad. In, in sync. while also avoiding contact with Miss Nobles trying to enfeeble us. <gasps> oh my god. It's been so long. <laughs> this is so fascinating. figure out which ones to take out first. Ooh, one's seen me. Away. Can we get up on the roofs at all? Because that feels like that's the way to get through to that blazing wall. Oh god. Oh shit. 
Hello. Any merchants in the divine realm? Oh shit! Are there any merchants in the divine realm? Is that why? I, I, Cause I got, I'm stacked right now. I got so much money. What the fuck? What are you doing in the wall? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you? What are you hanging out there doing that? Cheeky. Oh man. Ooh, you're coming for me, aren't you? Who killed that Miss Noble? Certainly wasn't me. What are you doing? You're just staring at it now. You're just admiring my handiwork. You're not going to turn around? How strange is this behavior right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? That was so weird. Just wasn't turning around and going back. Strange. Okay, so there's a red one in there. God, this is the stealth scenario. Land of the Mist Nobles, man. Alright, let's check this out. We might be able to go from the back. Alright, there's an enemy there. Okay, so... Face me, let's go. So there's a lightning attack in there too. Wow. That was insane, okay. So, there's a lightning reversal that we can do there. Oh shit. Those Miss Nobles are onto us, man. Not over yet. It's just you. All right, you're not like a boss or anything, you just Didn't know if it would be end up being like a mini boss. Ooh, we got a chest. This is a new looking chest. We ain't seen one of these bad boys before. Whoa, that's fancy. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, divine grass, that's fine. 
Oh, that's a that's the reward for our for our efforts of clearing this entire place out. It's like I recommend you go around. It's like, what if I say no? Nice. Okay, how do we look at this? Look at look at this. How do we how do we do this? How do we get to you? How do we get to you? That's what I want to know. Because that is a <laughs> that is a big boy. Wait a minute. Was this door closed before? Oh no, because you go around the side. Right. Hold on a minute. How do I get to that to that ball then? Can I get up on these roof tops? Oh, the dogs. Right. I, there's nowhere to grapple. Like there's, there's, so there's nowhere to get up at all. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Let me kill these dogs so I can probably get up to four skill points, please. <gasps> now you do it. Now you do it. Okay. <laughs> of course now. I wasn't expecting a full thing. Full song and dance. Anyone got, anyone want to do lightning attack? I mean, I already practiced it on the other one, so I think we're good now. We're okay. Alright, I got four skill points. That's good. I need to figure out if there's a merchant in this place, because I got cash. Otherwise, we got to travel, like... Oh my god. Oh shit. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, this is so cool. If I can get, get him. Oh wow. Okay, we've got a huge area of water. Alright, this fucking guy. There you go, shooting a fucking lightning cannon at me. Look at this place. This is straight up insanity. First we get delivered here by a straw man. Rope boy. Land of the Mist Nobles with a man with a lightning cannon. Blocking the way. So we can swim underwater. Wow, we can swim underwater. To go over there, or we can go through Land of the Mist Nobles. Look at the idle animation. Like, they're just like... Look at that. This is one of the most beautiful locations I have ever gotten to in a video game before. Just everything about this place. You're a treasure carp. I need you. You can get me underwater. Shit. What the? F okay, you can keep getting me underwater. And I'm dead. Uh, fuck. Okay, underwater is not safe. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. All right, I'm dead. Damn it, I'm dead. What the fuck? That, how accurate is that, dude? He's got underwater vision. Man has. Underwater vision. Money lost. Alright, I'm traveling. We've already, we're now back here, so I'm gonna go. I need a. I've got this cool little fancy antique thing now, so I'm gonna go to my merchants and buy money bags because I don't wanna lose it, and I already lost half of it. I was trying not to obviously travel because I didn't want to, uh, Reset all those Miss Nobles. Oh, he doesn't? No. Oh, I can buy an infinite number of divine confetti from this dude. But I can't. You can't buy. Okay. Buy eel liver. Dude, I can buy all the divine confetti that I want. Alright, I'll spend a couple. Okay. 
じゃあなだんわおいい Alright, take me back to. Our Harada estate stays at the bottom. Fountainhead Palace. Vermilion Bridge. Alright, let's go back to the manor. So there's the path just through the mist. No, we went all that way. Only to end up dying. Or we've got Lightning Cannon Man. This is quite overwhelming. But then I can't figure out how to get to that blazing ball. Just run. Ah. Oh. I jumped too early. <laughs> Want to dance? Come on. You scared? Ah, that was not lightning. Wild. <laughs> when we were like right in front of a sculptor's idol that I could have rested at. Sculptor's idol found. There's that guy. Look at him. Look at him. Fucking just chilling. There's some grapple points. I need to get to this dude and wipe him out. And then we can explore the water. Treasure carps. Oh, hang on. Is this how we get over? Here we go. There we go. We're on the rooftops now. I saw you there. At least this is a good place to get money and skill points. Like, holy shit. Like, there, there's a lot. laughing at me, but you're about to die, fool. Oh, you're, you're on a walk. Look at that gorgeous creature. One death blow. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, no. Secure ball of the palace. Okay, okay, hello. They faded, they they faked us out with the death blow, dude. Oh my god, the skull! Oh, it's face, dude. What the fuck? Alright, you're a bit erratic. How do I fight you? Ugh! Certainly not like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was another one. Holy shit! Look at the look at look at this thing. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing. Dude, just the damage that's being done to me just by existing in this fight.
Where are you going? <gasps> oh! Don't fall on top of me. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, man. Wow, you beautiful creature. Wow. We got our fourth prayer bead. Ooh. Ooh, a beast's karma. A latent skill that increases the maximum number of spirit animals that can be held. Oh, spirit emblems and manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems. Perhaps this innocent beast was burdened with the karma of man. Inheriting the karma of those they've killed is also a part of being shinobi. Wow, a beast's karma. Dude. Oh, we can hold more spirit emblems. Wow. Do you know what is so beautiful and awesome about this game? Is like, I felt like I've been at the end of the game for so long because it like, it has all those feelings of being at the end. And then I'm just like, why is this the game that just keeps on giving? <laughs> like, there's, there's more and there's always more. And it's just the most beautiful thing, because every time I've played one of these, like, every time I've been playing a FromSoft game and I, you know, I'm just like, I, oh, I need to read that. Um, I'm just like, I never want it to end. And this game has just been like, all right, sure. We're just never gonna, we'll just keep going. You know, it's crazy. Um, an unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord, dismissed after giving to drink, he fell to a life of brigandry. And so he was dubbed Juzao the Drunkard. Wow. Backstory on our drunk friend who we've had to kill twice now. Alright, we figured out how to get to the Blazing Ball. How do I get the items in this room, though? Ooh! <laughs> Man, bringing in... Bringing in underwater traversal is just... Treasure Carp scale! Oh, without even having to go up against Treasure Carps themselves. Alright, we have to go back to that dude. We have to go back to that guy. Ooh! Whoa, I was expecting a standard item there for a sec. Water of the Palace? Is that a key item? Or is that a... Oh! Is that... Uh, is that Sake? will be a key item, right? Where am I? Fucking, come on. I'm stressed. Uh, I'm scrolling so fast. No, Shinosake. There it is. Water of the Palace. A cup filled with divine waters, a drink popular with nobles of the palace. When a wedding procession arrives at the Fountainhead Palace, this is the drink they are greeted with. The nectar of the palace nobles. Go ahead, drink to your heart's content. Okay, it's not a sake? What do we do with it? What do we do with it? It's a key item. I didn't have a good welcome party when I got here. I got beat up and I'm and people trying to enfeeble me. Hello. Goodbye. Whoa, that was half. Alright, we are going to quickly take a little trip over to Treasure Cart Man. So, oh god, hang on. I've pulled out my headphone cable. Bear with me, sorry. There you go. I've, uh, we need to take a trip over to Treasure Cart Man. Because we've got, like, more Treasure Carps than we can even, like, deal with to buy from him. But there is also a giant carp. Uh in this uh in this fountainhead uh in this fountainhead palace sort of deal is it one in the same or is it just like this guy wants to become like, like the great carp of legends all right you're done now i can't buy anything else from you Ooh, you have the aroma of the divine realm. And you've been so kind to me. Very well, I give this to you now. Truly precious bait. 
If bait has hair, you know it's something truly special. The Harata Noble in the pot. It's a noble! The Harata Noble in the pot is obsessed with thoughts of becoming a master. He who receives the scales of the carp becomes closer to a carp himself. I bestow it up unto you my secret treasure. A precious bait. And if it has hair, it's really special. It does play into it. Wow. Okay. So. This is so cool. So. I had a feeling it was going to tie together. Bring it to the great carp. Do that. <laughs> I'm used to waiting at this point. I'm waiting. So the bait. Uh, the bait is what we can use. The bait is what we can use to get the father to stop having to feed the fish. We'll use the bait. We haven't even met this dude yet. <laughs> oh wow, this is this is just some incredible shit, dude. Okay, so I was like, surely the treasure carp man is linked somehow, considering he wants to become a great carp. Flower viewing stage. Those are beautiful, like, beautiful names, you know? Beautiful names of these locations. This is just insane. Uh, so we've got bait for the big carp. Give it to the carp and Potboy will become a carp himself. I'm sad that I missed that. I was looking the wrong way. Um, Hey guys, I think I found the giant carp. <laughs> uh, hello? Is there a giant fish down here? Oh, there's a lightning guy! I fucking... Run! Run! <laughs> uh, behind the cliff, dude? Okay. Uh, what? I had just resurrected. Okay, the lightning can go through surfaces. Not surprising. Thank you, FromSoft. Not surprising. Um, we need to deal with that lightning, dude. Um. Okay, it doesn't keep happening. Carp has destroyed bridge. Carp is much closer than I thought it would be. Damn, I'm so annoyed that I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> We got a glimpse. Oh, hello. Definitely annoyed that I died. Oh, hang on, we've got, I've got skill points that I should really be cashing in right now. These people are just chilling. Look at this. Like. I feel bad for. Feel bad for killing these dudes because they just they're just hanging out. <laughs> and then protecting their home, you know. Oh my god, as soon as you go underwater. As soon as you go underwater. Can you fuck off? So he can like, de it's like, he detects you. Like, detects you underwater. Okay, what do we want with four skill points? What do we want at this point? Senpo leaping kicks. Increases the amount of sand obtained from enemies and item drop rates. Praying Strikes Exorcism. Adds a finishing attack to Praying Strikes. Unleash a flurry of quick attacks inflicting damage while preventing counter attack. And a heavier blow at the end. Devotion. Increases the amount of time a Buddhist candy is effective when used. Oh, that's, that's nice. Leaping Kicks. 
Combined anti-air counter and sweep attack counter. Oh shit. Followed up with a combination of kicks, it can counter a sweep attack. A technique refined by the recluses of Senpo, according to their practices, mastery of the leaping kick proves one has attained true enlightenment. Oh, that's awesome. And anti-air. Wow. Nightjar slash reversal, projected force, living force. Allows one to perform a follow-up attack with certain tools that imbues the sword with the tool's effect. The sculptor retired the shinobi prosthetic after developing this technique. He'd gone too far, killed too many. The flames of hatred had begun to manifest. Holy shit. So it's applicable to the flame vent and divine abduction. Wow. Flame sword. That's cool. It costs four. Blood spattered upon the prosthetic turns to a permanent rust, proof of the user's burden, and the prosthetic's many small cuts and scars are proof of the countless deaths it's caused. Midair prosthetic tool. We can just use any in midair. Hmm. Midair, like. Oh, man. It has. It has a. Uh, Fang and Blade as well looks pretty cool. After using certain prosthetic tools, the move allows one to attack with the tool and sword simultaneously or provides a follow-up attack for the tool. So, and it works with the Mist Raven. So after activating Mist Raven, you press RB and you attack. I'm going to get Fang and Blade. And then we will wait for something else. Um... And Fang and Blade is just like a passive thing, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of that. And put Mist Raven on. So I can so I can do it. So after like activating it, you do an attack. That's cool. Alright, I want to try and figure out if we can find this treasure cart, but I I think it must be out here. I need so I need to get to that dude over there. I hate that like, going through this area, like, I see these people just hanging out, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to even kill them. But then they attack me, you know? Look at this place, man. Like, this is mind-blowing. Like, I know that they're going to attack me on sight, and they're hostile, but, like... <laughs> do they have to be? How do I get up there? <gasps> oh, fuck. I almost thought there was a cave behind that waterfall. I got so excited. Where is my secret cave waterfall, Miyazaki? Oh, God, they're coming. Yeah, okay. All right, let's fight. Reluctantly, let's fight. Okay, I want to try. I got my follow-up attack interrupted. That is really rude. Okay, now I'm just now I'm just spamming it. And that time it didn't even work, and that sucked. Okay, when there's two of them, it makes it a lot harder. <laughs> so much harder, in fact. Ridiculous. Okay, Miss Raven's call. Cool. It's got a cool follow-up. You guys just ignored that whole thing? You guys just ignored the whole thing. Oh, 
I jumped too early again. Love this. Love this floating water ability, man. God damn. Ah, shit. Give me to fall down. Oh, well, I guess I can find some things if I fall down here. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> I re What? Okay, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need an instant replay on that. I'm so confused about what went down just there. I, mani I did get the deflect, but then I think they both did lightning at the same time. So I got shock damage regardless. That's such a shame. <laughs> I was like, alright, I'm gonna need instant replay. Oh, what is that? That's the bowl that the other one's kicking. Oh, you. Th oh. It's like a throwable. Okay. It's a projectile weapon as well. Wow. Come on, get the timing right. There you go. Oh god, who's got the arrows? There you are. Wow. Most uh, used word of the evening. Wow. <laughs> what can I what can I tell you? I'm shocked. Just very taken aback with all of this. Do you reckon I can make that jump? Nope. How do we get over there? One item over there. God, I thought that was someone up the top there for a second. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I thought there was like a interact button for a second. The laughter, though. Oh, man. Oh, are we close to... No, not really. Kind of. All right, we still need to go up and around to get to him. Some more items on the, on the bottom here. Some dogs. <laughs> Just keeps like playing the same sound over and over. Oh. Okay, I got lucky there, I guess. Oh god. <laughs> okay, now, how many times do you want to actually do it? Wow, I tried so long to get a dog to actually do it. <sighs> tried so long to get a dog to do it to me, and now that one's just like, this is my only attack. That's my only attack. No. Why? Oh, we can. We have infinite divine confetti now. We have infinite divine confetti. Okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Well, we don't have infinite divine confetti. I mean, like, we can buy it now. We can buy it. There you are. I was like, what the fuck? 
Okay. Surely we can get this death blow, right? Like, surely. Yes, there, there is a possibility to get a death blow on this fucking thing. Shichimen Warrior. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, all the way over there. Fuck's sake. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I need my umbrella. That's wrong. Attack! Uh, fuck! Mm. Oh shit, hang on, my divine confetti ran out. Not the No! Not the where the fucking dogs coming from, man. Oh you fuckers. You fucks. Those dogs ruined the whole thing. <laughs> Those fucks. Ah, oh, I had I totally had that. Probably didn't, but those fucking dogs ruined that whole thing for me. <laughs> okay. Well, we have Divine Confetti. We have a way to resist terror attacks. We can get this thing. Oh, I'm so mad. That was dumb, dude. Dog gave me precious bait. Whoa. The texture is slimy and something resembling horns seem to jut out of it. Just the kind the bait of bait the master loves. Ring the bell. Drop the bait. We have a truly precious one though. So interesting. Now it's like we have a choice. What the fuck? Where even? What? Where even? Oh, you're right there. I was like, what the fuck? Where even are you? Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Why did? Why was there no death blow? What is this game? What is this game? What game am I playing? What game am I playing, dude? One. Still need to get another one though. Are you there or not? Oh, what the fuck?
Nice, it is possible. <laughs> uh, oh, that's how we get a Lapis Lazuli. Just one, though. Okay. I don't feel so bad about using so much Divine Confetti there, because we can buy it now. Dude, we killed our first one. Bundle Jizo statue. Look at that purple lightsaber. So sick. Alright. We can definitely... So you can get a mid-air death blow. It is possible. This is the tree. Whoa. Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> it's a big boy. I will cautiously approach. I'll cautiously approach the big boy. Alright, how do we... I think we're near this dude. I hope that killing this dude would be permanent. <laughs> Alright, how do I... Okay. I think I need to be up there. Yeah, I need to be up there. Alright, let's go over here first then. Let's see what this is. Dude, being able to use this fucking umbrella that blocks, like, the... The phantom. Contact. Oh, fuck off. I'm here. I hear that thunder. He's trying to attack us. I can't get up. <gasps> uh, let me up. Let me up. How do I get up? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. How do we get up? Um, am I stuck down here now? Ooh, more precious bait. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> like, so there were, that was like a, a drop, like a point of no return. Like, that's that's bullshit. <laughs> that that's awful. <laughs> Just because I decided to drop down into the water, he's like, nah, you're dead. No other way to get up. Sorry. Lose your money, lose your skill points. Thumbs down. Oh god. How do we, without getting absolutely zapped, so I need to do, all right, let's get rid of this guy. This dude is a dickhead. You know, occasionally there'll just be those things that make me irrationally angry in Sekiro. That guy's one of them. Oh god. Alright, I think we're going we're going up this way. We got a door. That looks to progress though, so we'll ignore that for now, because I need to kill this fucker on the tree. My life depends on it, man. If my life depends on it. Oh, look, they're just watching, you know? Just watching, watching the teacher teach. There's a sculptor's idol there. Oh, there's a sculptor's idol right by the fucking... Okay. There's a sculptor's idol right at the fucking guy. Watch this, students. Watch how a real fight goes down.
I said watch, not join. You just fucking completely disregarded the rules of the firecracker. down. I fell down. Not all hope is lost. I think we can get back up from here. I didn't fall down to the point of no return. I'm just like, peace. Deflects lightning, shocks them, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Oh. Oh, hello everybody. This is just me getting sidetracked. Hello. Goodbye. Just missing my grapple points. Let me up. Let's try that again. Our students were supposed to watch this fight, but they decided to join, and they paid with their lives. Too early. I knew it was coming too, and I still fucked it up. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. We got some more. We got some more Dragon Spring Sake. This is our second one, so we're gonna give this to Ishin. Holy shit. It is possible to get more Dragon Spring, it's just incredibly hard to come across. Hell yeah. Hey Mr. Tree Trunk Man, you ready to get fucking schooled, son? Because it's happening. Awesome. Alright, let's fight. Oh no, he's a fucking boss. Okami leader Shizu. Alright, you're a boss. Great. Ah, oh, the timing. Okay, hold on. We can do this. Let's try this again. Fucking blitz bowl. Whoa! Oh. 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 Fucking blitz bowl. Come on. I want to get you. I want to get. Come on. Shock me. Let's go. Come on. Don't, don't blitz bowl me. Come on. Alright, one more. One more try. Go again. Go again, Dad. Not with the fuck. Come on. Let's go. Yes! Oh, I didn't even shock you. Because I wasn't close enough. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Don't need me. No! Oh. No!
Yeah, there it is. Fuck you. Yes, that means he won't respawn. Because it's a mini boss. Goodbye, down to the depths. Hell yes, okay. Okami leader. Dude. This is all like the Okami clan. That we've read about all of the female soldiers. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That is so, so cool. The Okami clan leader. That was awesome. Guys, we have made it to Great Sakura Sculpted Idol. We've got so much more to explore. We can now freely explore the waters of, uh, of this place as well and deal with the Great Carp. But we are going to bring this episode of Sekiro to a close. It's been a beautiful, beautiful arrival into the Divine Realm. Rematching the Corrupted Monk. Navigating through Miss Noble territory. Taking on... A, another blazing bull and now defeating the uh, the Akami clan leader up the top here in a, in a match of deflect the blitz bowl and that was just amazing thank you so much for watching I can't wait to see what's laying uh, in wait for us up ahead we're going to try and find this giant carp next time and feed it precious bait we've got more of this area to explore as well as the water uh, it's it's great when we've got dragon spring sake to share uh, with with the Shin as well, and then there's also the case of this like water that we that we got. That's a key item. Not sure what we can do about that one yet, uh, but we'll we'll try and figure that one out. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.